to the online class. Today, I am with you with a new chapter, a chapter relating about Kalpana Chawla. An Indian American woman in space, Kalpana Chawla. Before starting the chapter, let me ask you some questions. What is the difference between a rocket and a space shuttle? What is the difference between a rocket and a space shuttle? That's the first question. And the second question, have you ever heard about Kalpana Chawla? Kalpana Chawla said that she never dreamed as a child in Karnal that she would cross the frontier of space. It was enough that her parents allowed her to attend engineering college after she graduated from Tago School. After a Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering, against great opposition from her father, she went for a Master's degree to the United States of America. She later earned her PhD in Aerospace Engineering. Kalpana Chawla was the first Indian American woman astronaut to blast off from the launch pad at Cape Canaveral, Florida and participated in a successful mission in space. Her family from India cheered along with the staff at Kennedy Space Center as they watched the Columbia lift off. Kalpana was born in Karnal, Haryana but was a naturalized US citizen married to flight instructor Jean Pierre Harrison. Besides being an astronaut, she was licensed to fly single and multi-engine land airplanes, single-engine seaplanes and gliders. She was also a certified flight instructor. Kalpana Chawla said that she never dreamed as a child in Karnal that she would cross the frontier of space. It was enough that her parents allowed her to attend engineering college after she graduated from Tago School. She said that going to a space from a poor, poor village from India, it's a very big dream for her. She never dreamed about that. After completing the Bachelor of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering, she wanted to do master degree. But her father didn't allow her to go to abroad. Anyway, anyhow, she went to abroad and completed her master's degree. Not only the master's degree, she also completed the PhD in Aeronautical Engineering. Then she married a flight instructor, Jean Perry Harrison, and that's how she became a naturalized UN citizen. Besides being an astronaut, she learned, she earned the license to fly single engine and multi-engine aeroplanes, not only the single and multi-engine aeroplanes, seaplanes, gliders, and etc. etc. many more. After qualifying as a pilot, Kalpana began to consider another challenge, applying to NASA's space shuttle program. She was first hired as a research scientist at NASA. In 1994, she was selected by NASA for the training as an astronaut. When asked with what it was like being a woman in her field, she replied, I really never ever thought while pursuing my studies or doing anything else that I was a woman or a person from a small city or a different country. I pretty much had my dreams like anyone else and I followed them. And people who were around me, fortunately, always encouraged me and said, if that's what you want to do, carry on. Kalpana began to consider in another challenge that's from NASA, that's for NASA Space Shuttle program. First, she hired as a research scientist in NASA and in 1994, she was selected for When someone asked Kalpana how you reach here, she simply said, I really never ever thought while pursuing my studies or doing another anything else that I was a woman or a person from a small city or a different country. I pretty much had my dreams like anyone else and I follow them. And people who were around me, fortunately, always encouraged me and said, if that's what you want to do, carry on. Talpana said that she had a lot of dreams and she followed her dreams and she achieved her success. Many people around her, fortunately, helped her and they said that if you wanted to do this one, if you wanted to follow that one, you do it without hesitating. You go and you chase your dreams. Kalpana's first space mission in the Space Shuttle Columbia was 15 days, 16 hours and 34 minutes long. 
During this time, she went around the Earth to 52 times, traveling 10.44 million kilometers. The crew included a Japanese and an Ukrainian astronaut. The crew performed experiments such as pollinating plants to observe food growth in space and test for making stronger metal and faster computer chips, all for a price tag of about $56 million. On the Sunday night, when the news about the Columbia disaster broke, there was a shock and disbelief. The town of Karnal spent a sleepless night as thousands of households stayed glued to their television sets in the hope that Kalpana and the crew had somehow survived. A journalist wrote, She was a heroine. It takes enormous ability to become an astronaut. You need to know a lot about everything, from biology to astrophysics to aeronautical engineering. In this age of super specialization, you must have encyclopedic knowledge to be an astronaut. Her achievement is awe-inspiring. For millions of young Indians, the story of Kalpana Chawla, a girl from a small town who touched the sky, had become an inspiration. In a message that she sent from abroad the space shuttle Columbia to the students of her colleague in Chandigarh, Kalpana said, The path from dream to success does exist. You may have the vision to find it, the courage to get on it. Wishing a great journey, there will surely be many who start off on this journey to fulfill their dreams. Kalpana's first mission in Space Shuttle Columbia that lasts for 15 days, 16 hours and 34 minutes long. In that crew, a Japanese and Ukrainian astronaut was there. Many people was there, especially ja uh, Japanese and uh, astronaut people are there. And they have a lot of project in, in that, <coughs> lot of project in that mission. The first and most thing is pollinating plants to observe food growth in space. The first and most thing is pollinating plants to observe food growth in the space. And the second thing is test for making stronger metals and, the, and faster computer chips. They do all these for about $56 million. Next, we are discussing about the Kalpana Chawla second journey that was in Colombia. Second journey, please listen. On the Saturday night, when the news about the Columbia disaster broke, there was a shock and disbelief. The town of Karnal spent a sleepless night as thousands of households stayed glued to the television set in the hope that Kalpana and the crew had somehow survived. On Saturday night, the news broke up. Columbia was disastered in space before reaching the earth. Only 15 seconds, only 15 seconds remaining before reaching the earth. The Kalpana Chawla and her crew, that means the Columbia, broke, burned out, blasted into what? Uh, blast into pieces. Saturday night, the disaster of the Columbia hurt. Many people sat upon the TV and they have only one prayer. Kalpana Chawla and their crew want to reach Earth without any problem. They want to reach the Earth in safely. The story of Kalpana Chawla is an inspiration for me, you and the coming generation. For millions of young Indians, the story of Kalpana Chawla, a girl from a small town who touched the skies, had become an inspiration. Her life, her story, that will become, that's an inspiration for us. In a message that she sent from abroad the space shuttle Columbia to students of her college in Chandigarh, Kalpana said, the path from dream to success does exist. May you have the vision to find it, the courage to get on to it. Kalpana Chawla said that the path to success, the path from dream to success does exist. She told that the path from our dream to the reality is exist. It means you are still awake. The path from dream to success does exist. May you have the vision to find it. You want to find your way and you want to achieve your dream. This was the message that she sent from the space to her colleague. Sorry, from the students to the college. I hope you understand the chapter. Let's do some textual questions as the homework.